Hi Leo, welcome to Carol's Universe Tarot Readings, Tarot Readings from the Heart. So we're going to do your uh, week ahead, uh, not week ahead, sorry, it's your June 2019 uh, reading, month ahead reading. Uh, I also do the weekly, so there's a weekly sitting next door for you guys for the 27th to the 2nd of June. Uh, I found this really good uh, spread online. I really, really like it a lot. So I'm going to be using that for the monthly today. We're using four different decks, okay? The bottom layer, we're using the good old before tarot. I've got the after tarot as well. I really like this. I really love this deck. Uh, it's by uh, Kareen Kenner, artwork by Aon and Simona Rossi, okay? Um, and what I like about this deck is that it's challenges you to really use your intuition i just really like the way it challenges you everything on this the cards basically are one moment before the events of the actual right away happen so everything that happens in this deck is one moment before so it really challenges you to look at those pictures and really just think well let me just tap into that intuition of mine it's really good love that deck the second layer we are using the mystic mondays tarot by grace Duong, which i think is a really good deck as well she's amazing this artist it's just incredible Incredible. The illustrations again, so abstract and you know, so beautifully done, and you know, all these really sharp corners again, challenging you to try and find out and to try and work out what the artist is trying to tell you. But it's not about what the artist is trying to tell you, it's about what you see in the, the actual illustrations. Beautiful again. Third layer, we use my good old Druid Craft Tarot deck by Philip and Stephanie Cargom. Absolutely stunning deck, love that deck. And then for your advice and encouragement at the end, it's a new deck that I've got, the Twin Tarot Deck Oracle by Jenny Bethnal, art by Rachel Hammond. Beautiful, stunning deck. And this is only made up of the major cards. So there's 44 in here, and every card right from the fall to the world has two versions of it. One version is the dark side of the card, which to all intents and purposes is really just the reversal of it. And the other one is the light side. So we get two cards from here to see what the... Uh, advice is for the month all right the advice and encouragement for the month so with that being said let's get on with your reading then um leo so universe spirit show me leo show me leo and who are leo who is leo in the month of june 2019 who is leo in one card okay and can you show me please universe Oops, that's coming out. That's the theme for the month. I was just about to say, it preempted me on that. So that came out, that's fine. Uh, through the uh, Mystic Mondays Tarot, can you show me uh, what is the key goal? What is the key goal for Leo in uh, June 2019? What is the key goal for Leo in June 2019? And what is the obstacle that Leo needs to overcome in June 2019? What is the obstacle that Leo needs to overcome? And what is the major accomplishment? What is a, a, a Leo achieving in June 2019? What is the major accomplishment that Leo is achieving? Okay. That's fine. Um, the final deck here. Okay, so... What does Leo in two cards, what does Leo need to avoid? in June 2019. What does Leo need to avoid in two cards? Okay, so that's one, two. Okay, and what is it that Leo needs to embrace universe in one card? What does Leo need to embrace? Okay, and uh, what is the support? Who is supporting Leo? There we go. That came out. And finally, Universe, through the uh, Twin Tarot Oracle, can you show me what is the advice and encouragement that you have for Leo in the month of June 2019? Okay. There we go. Right, so Leo, you are the Knight of Coins. <laughs> there you go. So he's taking his coin from the tree. It was almost like the coin grew on the tree. Uh, a moment before he goes off with that coin and he goes on his travel, starting to build, he's taking the seed. Okay, and when I look at this card, it almost looks like, can you see how the coin is sat on the tree, on the branch of the, seed, of the tree? It's almost like it's the seed or it's, 
uh, it's, it's something that was left over. It's almost like it's the last apple or it's the last piece of fruit on the tree and he takes it and he says, right, what can I do with this? Maybe I can take the pips out and see if, see if I can rebuild it somewhere else. So, you know, you guys are this knight of coins. And I feel that when I intuitively, when I look at this card, it kind of says to me that you guys in June 2019 are taking something, something that hasn't been used, something that you can utilize and you're building on it because that's what he's doing with this coin. He's taking the coin from the tree and he's about to take that and he's about to work with it and he's about to build on it. That's the Knight of Coins job. He's the builder of the tarot. So he's taking his pentacle and he's building, okay? He's building value because coins don't just represent money, they represent the word value. Leo, so you take what you have and you build the value until the value goes up and up and up until it becomes the king, until you've made loads of money. All right, it's almost like taking money. The Knight of Coins would be somebody who'd be on the stock floor, you know, like a what do they call it? You know, one of those people that does all the stock exchange stuff, you know, he'd be the type of guy that'd be like, no, buy, 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 no, sell, sell, sell. He'd do that type of thing. So you're investing. When you have a Knight of Coins, this is the person who wants to build value. So you're taking what you have and you're looking to build value. You're looking to build something of value. You're looking to build something greater and bigger than you've ever had before with the Knight of Coins. What is the theme of the month, Leo? <laughs> what did I tell you? Oh my God, look, there you go. King of Coins shows up there. Did I not mention the King of Coins? See, they came out together. That's like incredible. I just mentioned this guy and he showed up here. So the theme of the month is about taking what you have, building it. That's you. That's your the Knight of Coins. And your theme of the month is making it bigger. Can you see? King of Coins energy showing here. Now, it's funny because the King of Coins, right before he takes the coin, it's right there. It's up in the air again. Can you see? It's the Ace of Coins that's been handed to him. So the theme of the month, okay, this is... And it's almost like the money, when I keep seeing these coins, they're held in storage and they're ready to take. You haven't literally got them just yet. But I'm just going to have a look at this King of Coins and the theme of the month with this King of, King of Coins energy. He looks kind of miserable to me on this card. It's like he, he doesn't, he's not aware of what he's got. You know what I feel here? I feel that you guys are you've got something and you're trying to build it bigger you're building on it it's something of value and you want it to be bigger whether it's a business that you're starting up with this knight of coins energy whether it's an inheritance that you've got and you're taking it and you're building it into something bigger and something new whether you're investing the money this is something material you guys have leo okay and i feel that um i feel that for the month the theme for the month is that it's all there can you see he do, can you see his face I don't know whether you guys can see that. Look at his face. He looks really pissed off. Because he can't see the money. He can't see. Some of you guys, it's almost like you've taken something. You've got money. You've got resource. There's a resource. The Knight of Coins, all the coins mean resource. They mean uh, value. They mean material objects. You've got resources here. So that's you guys. You're taking something from a tree. You're taking this little coin from this tree and you're wanting to build and grow it into something but the theme of the month is you know you've got to put the hard work into it because it's right behind you the money is there it's in storage but the king of coins doesn't have it yet so the theme for the month is to really take action i think because he sat there he sat there waiting can you see how he looks before he actually has the coin what the king of coins rolled within the tarot is to take what he's got and build it again into something big because he's worked hard. The King of Coins always works hard for what he wants. He's the cultivator. So really the theme for the month is all about cultivating what you have. It's all very well to take it from the tree, but you have to cultivate it if you want to make it larger because the King of Coins is sitting here. It's almost like you're the knight, but then you're the king at the same time. You have the power. Kings are powerful. So the theme for the month is that though you'll start off being the knight, showing here which is who you are you start off with all of the the best intentions you've got this resource within your hands and you intend to grow it and make it bigger the theme for the month is about cultivating this thing that you have so when we cultivate things we're enhancing it we're nurturing it we're watering it and the theme for the month is if you have a resource 
which you do, uh, Leo, the theme for the month is you're going to have to put the work in and cultivate this thing. Because the coin isn't in the king of coins hand. Can you see? It's not in his hand. It's right above. The ace of coins is what's above his head. But he's in a mood because he can't see the money. It's not in his hand. Now we know in the right of weight he's got that coin. But we don't know how he got it. So the potential is there, the opportunity is there, and the theme for the month is, are you going to take it? Are you going to take it? Because on a lot of King of Coins uh, cards, you actually see on his particular card, he's usually got loads of money, or he's got, usually he's got his bull, Taurus, the sign of wealth and prosperity. He doesn't have the bull here, he's just got the coin. So the theme for the month is, if you have something here, a resource, the theme is you're going to have to really work hard and start building on that resource. That's the theme for the month. You guys, what's your key goal? Oh my God, see? See what I mean? This is why I like using the different cards because you see what comes up. Your goal is to make piss loads of money. Wheel of Fortune. That's your goal. It's to hit the jackpot. Wheel of Fortune. I don't think it's lottery though. I think it's to make money. Big, big money. Wheel of Fortune. That's your goal for the month. What is the obstacle that you need to overcome? Justice. Your obstacle is getting justice. It's about getting this thing. It's about getting the rewards. Because justice is all about rewards. Okay. So you guys haven't had this success yet. You've not completed this cycle yet justice justice is all about the rewards things being in balance completion receiving what we deserve but that's your obstacle getting what you deserve and getting what you deserve probably comes back to this card here where the theme of the month is you don't have your cow there yet you don't have your bull taurus the bull you don't have the big prosperity that you're looking for and yet your goal is the wheel of fortune but you need to overcome the obstacle of justice Maybe it's something to do with making the decision how you're going to get this money or how you're going to get this big, you know, financial success. Because I think this is a financial thing. What are you accomplishing, though? Breaking free the tower from a particular structure. That's what the tower is. Now, this structure that some of you guys have built up is in the King of Coins being the theme. Where you're sitting moody and you're saying, oh, I don't know how to do it. And yet the universe is saying, well, look at the fucking coin, Leo. The opportunity is right there behind you. You just don't see it. And the theme for the month is you've got to see it. Just take the opportunity. It's right there. If you take it, you can become the king that has the Taurus bull sat with him. That has copious amounts of money. But you need to take the opportunity. And that's why you're accomplishing that, because you guys are finally like, it's lightning, it's like, finally, what you achieve, the major accomplishment, Leo, is, ah, oh, I get it. Because towers are not just about breaking free from a structure, the structure, actually, it's not just a physical thing, it's literally the mind. The tower is the enlightenment moment, the aha moment, it's like, oh, I get it. You're achieving the breakthrough, the mental breakthrough that you guys need. You get it. You get, you're like, oh yeah, I get it now. I understand what I need to do to achieve the Wheel of Fortune. Okay. What do you need to avoid? Oh my God, look, tower showing up again. <laughs> this is incredible. It really is. You're getting the same cards coming out in different from different decks. You need to avoid the tower and death. I think that with the tower energy, this is taking a risk because this is doing something out of the norm. So now we're going to read the tower differently because the tower, if you're talking about, we'll use the word breaking a free from a structure. All right. But you need to, if, when you get the tower in death, this is like the final, this is like the ending. The tower is all about a major catastrophe and it leads to death and ending. So you need to avoid really, if we want to turn it around, doing something completely risky with this tower energy that is going to lead to your demise. All right, so even though, you know, the major accomplishment is all about you kind of having that aha moment with this version of the tarot through the, you know, the um, Grace Durong uh, um, Mystic Mondays tarot deck, Leo, and that's fine that you've got the breakthrough. Just make sure that that breakthrough isn't something that is going to lead you 
So make sure that the breakthrough that you have with the tower isn't something that's going to lead you to, you know, lead to your demise. I don't mean physical death. I mean, look, kind of lead to you losing money or lead to you. For example, you say, I want to make pots of money. So, oh, I get it with the tower. I think I'll leave my permanent £50,000 a year or I'll leave my permanent job that puts bread on the table and clothes on the kids back well, I think I'll leave that and I'll go and set up a business and that'll be successful and then we'll all be happy and then you're kind of like oh dang it shit I did that and then the thing that I did it didn't work out and now I'm fucked with the death card do you see what I mean it's saying think before you leap yes you've got a breakthrough great brilliant but what do we do when we have a breakthrough we plan so just make sure, Leo, you're not rushing into anything here. Make sure that you're planning things every step of the way. It's great that you've got this breakthrough of how you're going to make your fortune. Mwah, wonderful. But make sure that you're not kind of saying, yeah, I'm going to do this. And then it's like, oh, fuck, what do I do that for? Because you didn't plan it. You didn't look for every eventuality, which is something that you sometimes need to do, especially when that tower card shows up. Let's have a look at um, what you need to embrace and accept for the month, Leo. The Knight of Cups. So the Knight of Cups is an offer. The Knight of Cups is our desires, our dreams. And I think this is more than anything, your dreams. I think that you need to embrace your dreams. And your dreams with this Knight of Cups energy is to move forward. And to explore something that you feel very emotionally connected to. Alright? So you need to embrace that. You need to follow your dreams with the Knight of Cups energy, Leo, for the month. It's really important that you do that. Okay, but don't make any haphazard decisions. Do you see what I mean? If you, you know, brilliant, you got your breakthrough. You know, I'm so happy for you. Brilliant, Tala. But make sure that you avoid this breakthrough leading to your demise, i.e. I lost a load of money, I invested in something and it's gone because you didn't look into something properly enough, you know? Or you decided to leave your permanent job to go start up a business that you know nothing about. Maybe you need training, something like that. Does that make sense? You know, or you, you know, you left your job, something that was paying you on a monthly basis to go and trial something new out, but that new thing doesn't work out and you can't go back to your old job. It's all about planning things properly. Nobody's saying that you shouldn't, because you want to make your money, you want to make your fortune, of course, but you have to plan properly if you want to do that. Um, what support do you have in the month? Two of Cups, your friends, your lovers. Your husbands, your wives, you know, the people that you're close to, that's your support for the month. And what is the advice for the month, Leo? Justice. Your advice and support is you're going to have justice, okay? The rewards come through learning, because the learning card is the hierophant. This is the teacher. This is what you're learning, what you're being taught. You're going to have your rewards, but you have to learn first. You have to learn the tricks of the trade. You have to learn the strategy. You guys are the Knight of Pentacles. You're just starting out on a journey here as the Knight, taking his pentacle, taking his resource. In June. Possibly could have happened a little bit before. But the thing for the month is that the opportunity you have here you can really kind of expand that opportunity, but you really need to be taking action with that uh, King of Pentacles because nothing is coming to you. Nothing is coming to you for free, Leo. You need to take advantage of it. Some of you guys are sitting there thinking, okay, I've got this resource, what am I going to do with it? But the universe is saying, well, it's there. Just do something with it. The universe is saying, we've provided you, and it has, it's provided you with the opportunity. You're the knight taking the pentacle from the tree. We provided you from with the opportunity. Now you need to take this opportunity and you need to run with it because you haven't made your big money yet. Now, your goal is to have big money, big fortune. But your obstacle is getting justice, getting a break in this situation with the justice energy. Okay. However, the massive accomplishment is you're getting a breakthrough. This is either an internal breakthrough or it's an in breakthrough from someone else. What you need to avoid is this breakthrough leading to your demise, i.e. making the wrong choice, making the wrong decision, rushing headlong into things without planning, without kind of knowing much about it. What you need to embrace is 
this month and accept is that you need to follow your heart. You need to follow your desires with this Knight of Cups energy. Because you are going to be supported by your friends, by your family, by those who are closest to you. But the advice and encouragement for the month is you are going to get what you want. With the Justice card, you are definitely going to get what you want. However, some of you guys need the guidance to do that. You need to be taught. You need to learn a few things first. Leo, that you need to... The encouragement is as, aspire to do what is right with the Justice energy. And aspire, I think, to do what is fair and what feels good to you, okay? But also, I would say with this card as well, um... Leo, there is a path that has to be followed. There is a tradition that has to be followed. And this goes back to what I was saying about, um, what I was saying about that, you know, you are going to get your justice, you're going to get what you want. But there is, you know, you're going to have to learn the, tr you know, the tools of the trade first, because Hierophant is all about learning. And this is all about getting what we want. But perhaps to get to what we want with the justice energy, to get those rewards, we have to find time to indulge in counsel, learning and guidance first. So, yeah. Go on that path of harmony and trying to find that harmony and balance in whatever it is that you want in this spread. You guys, you know, are aspiring to have money and lots of it with the Wheel of Fortune. You're aspiring to find, yes, your goals, to find your fortune, but on your road to getting what you want, on your road to getting what you want with the justice energy, to finding that harmony and balance. Sometimes we have to follow, you know, the you know the tried and the tested path with the Hierophant. That's your reading, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.